Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That'd be New Mexico time. This is the first for the Dude RV Traveling Roadshow. We are camping in New Mexico. We have journeyed far today. Pretty dang far. A lot of very straight roads through West Texas and East New Mexico. I mean, <laughs> you just hold it steady. <sighs> miles and miles of the same thing. So this morning, we were camped at San Angelo State Park. And we, we drove north until we intersected Highway 380, which is crazy because Highway 380 cuts across Collin County. And it's one of the most dangerous things to drive. <laughs> well, we picked up Highway 380 and we just kept driving west. And just before the town of Roswell, New Mexico, there's a sign that says Bottomless Lake State Park. And so here we are. I made reservations. We are in a handicap site. I'm excited about this one. The scooter or the, the, the virtual tour is going to be fun. <clears throat> so anyway, let's do a site review real quick. We're in site number 25, I think. I had to walk all the way out here. That'd be us, right there. Oh. I'm gonna talk to him, so we're at site number 24. It is a handicap site. Look how wide this site is. We have, we have a, a perfectly level concrete pad, so our jack situation does not pose any challenges. It is a 30 amp with water site there's a burn ban signs everywhere saying no ground fires somebody was burning a lot of charcoal metal roof to keep the rain off of us a metal table it's a wheelchair friendly table and we have we have a sidewalk to take us right over to one of the lake. This is Leah Lake. That's that's Leah Lake. So let me get the let me get Yappy situated and we'll go see some bottomless lake stuff. So the bottomless lakes, bottomless lake state park is a res when early settlers were moving into through this area, they'd stop and get water and and fish at these lakes. Ooh, that's a lot of water. Uh, and they would, while they were fishing, well anyway, let's, let's walk out on the dock and talk about that. So we're not gonna be able to walk out onto the dock. It's, it's closed. But we can check out the... So these are called bottomless lakes because the early Europeans, Anglos that were moving through here would stop to get water and they would fish. And they, they, the, some of these lakes are so deep up to, I think one of them's like 150 feet, something like that. But they, they couldn't touch bottom. And so they started calling it bottomless lakes. They are cenotes, which are caves that have collapsed into a sinkhole and groundwater is coming up. So that's spring fed. So imagine it's pretty chilly, which would be nice on a hot New Mexico afternoon. We've got a nice lagoon area with a beach for the kids to play and you can cook and grill feed your family Daddy. 
outdoor showers. They even have Wi-Fi. How about that? All right. The drive-in was just awesome. So you're really going to want to uh, subscribe, hit the bell so that when I post the two different, there'll be two different uh, videos. I'm going to use the e-bike because it's a pretty good ride. Some pretty steep changes. Click on the click on click subscribe tap the bell as well that way you will never miss another edition another episode of the dude rv traveling road show and we're gonna tour this whole campground this whole state park i don't know how much water is coming through there but it looks like a lot so let's, let's go see some stuff. Let's go see some bottomless lakes stuff. So when we, we were pulling in, I got I got all excited. I looked up here, I looked, I saw there's a freaking tower. We can we can climb up and we can look at the cenote. And then I came over here and found that there you actually can't climb up. And it's probably a good thing because it's got a big huge crack and the roof is falling in. Don't wanna go up there. So if you're planning a visit to Bottomless Lakes State Park and you got little ones traveling with you, and I'm talking the two foot kind, not the four foot kind, they're going to be excited because after they get through swimming, they can come over here and they can play on this really cool play structure, climb the rope net thing, seesaw, and even ride some wild stallions. They have signs all over the place saying, uh, if you're gonna be on any kind of floating device, you must wear a life jacket. You can even play some volleyball. Let's see what else we can find. We have a really good example you know, on a smaller scale of the cenote, how these lakes were created. You can see how it's kind of round and it's just sinking in. Let's go find some more stuff. I think the water's a little lower than it would normally be. Just just guessing. So we have two of them like right side by side. That one's a that one's not a very pretty color. somebody's dog there it is yeah, I think the water level should normally be like right up there all right let's go find some more find some more stuff this is gonna be a good one this one is going to really show us what it looks like when it collapses. Look at a big chunk of quartz crystal right there. No swimming, no diving. That's what the sign says. You can see where it's... That's pretty dang neat. All right. Let's go find some more stuff. So this is Mirror Lake. And this is what's really cool about this one, is what this plaque says right here. There are two separate sinkholes that collapsed, creating two separate lakes. The one on the left, the bigger one, the saline content has there's too much salt in the water for the fish to survive but the one on the right actually has fish in it we need to go down there so we're gonna we're gonna go over there 
The sign says, no swimming, no diving, and no fires. <laughs> They're taking all the fun out of it. I don't see any fish, but I see aquatic plants. And I actually see the same plant in both. Wow. It, Mother Nature's just fascinating. Just fascinating. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Oh, wow. That's what I have to say about this one. Oh, wow. of course, I'm saying that about all of them. Check this out. This is cool. That one looks deep, deep. I wonder how many coins are at the bottom. You know, people have been throwing stuff in water thinking that's going to bring them good luck for thousands of years. I wonder where they got that idea. Hey, let's just throw some money away. We are in the visitor center. Oh, this is this is kind of cool. You get to see the the skin and the skull. Ah, this was built by the CCC. Cool. Of course, the prehistoric populations were using the water source. Raptors. Now that's cool. Okay. So the lakes are not bottomless. Oh, okay, so if all the water was frozen and pulled out. Oh, okay. Camp is, is here. You too. Have you been in to see the aliens while you were here? The what? Have you been in time to see the aliens? Not yet. Not yet, huh? Not yet. Well, maybe you better stop and check them out. So, what does it look like when the cave collapses and there's no water? Just like that. Something in the, somebody wrote something in the mountain. I had to hike up here. This one was a little bit far. All right, I gotta find my way back down. When you first turn in and you're, you're when you're first coming into bottomless lakes state park you you come around a, a bend you come around the bend of this and the first thing you see is it's called the lazy lagoon of course you don't know that when you're you're coming around the bend here's the Lazy Lagoon. Now I don't know, we don't have any information 
I don't have any information other than the name. And the only reason, only reason I know the name is there's this. Ooh. I gotta hurt your ankle. Lots of holes in the rocks. There's this, you can see this from the road. Lazy Lagoon. I don't know. I don't know if this is private property or part of the state park. It looks like a lot of people have gone down to visit it. But that's pretty dang neat. I personally think. All right, all right, all right. Time to, time to do the virtual tour ride. So I have traveled up out of the canyon, headed to the, to the split in the road. I'm out of breath, I had to pedal some. I actually have a 3.13 mile trail. You do have to get a permit. And you certainly, certainly want to carry some water with you. All right, I got, I got to do this bike ride. I could not pass up the opportunity to climb, to walk out on the top, the top so we could look down. But getting here was not real simple and you gotta be real careful. So I'm, I'm out here to do the, I came, I, I started to do the, the cycle run and I got the bright idea that this would be fun. Now I'm, I'm not so sure about that. How's that for an aerial view? And you can see for miles and miles. I wonder what mountain that is. You probably can't even see it. There's a, a mountain I can see. All right. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. So th this feels a, a little safer <laughs> than the last one that I was on. We got a much better shot of the lagoon. decent all right now now I'm gonna go do the bike ride uh, there's good coffee man that's good coffee and what a beautiful place to wake up and drink a cup of coffee Good morning from Bottomless Lakes State Park, New Mexico. We're, as you well know, we're just right outside of Roswell, New Mexico. Driving through there today, as a matter of fact. We were quite surprised at how clean the, the bathroom facilities, the, the toilet, they don't have showers inside here. If you, if you want a hot shower, you gotta go to the RV, the camp campground restroom. But the bathrooms here were really clean, considering there were lots of, lots of people here yesterday. Very quiet here. Very quiet. We're done. We're gonna, we're gonna make one more stop here at Bottomless Lake State Park on the way out. There's a there's a, a viewpoint. And you probably can't see it because of the sun, but there's a viewpoint up there. 
we're going we're gonna to stop up there on our way out. So don't, don't click off just yet. <laughs> That'll be at the very end. Bottom, Bottomless Lakes State Park is a very interesting place. Geologically, very interesting, very fascinating. Uh, if you're not so much into geology, but you like to get Mark Smith, y'all will enjoy swimming here. It's plenty deep and cool. Campsite is great. Yeah, the, the, the campground was quiet last night. We slept like a rock. Of course, I was, I was exhausted. Both of us, all of us, dogs included, slept all night without it without getting up. Cell service here is a bit intermittent. We're, we have Verizon, but Starlink has got a, a clear shot at the, the northern sky, so uh, we haven't been too inconvenienced, you know. If you're driving into New Mexico, stop into Bottomless Lake State Park. You're not gonna see any aliens here. Well, I'm, I'm not, not from outer space aliens. You might see some, some aliens that have come across the border. Anyway, that's a whole nother discussion. We gotta get on the road. We're gonna go into Roswell and get diesel before we head up to our next stop. So make sure you click subscribe. You're not gonna to wanna to miss the next one. It's gonna be a good one. The water's not quite as cool as I thought it would be, at least not right here. Of course, there's a lot of surface area to, for the sun to heat up. But you can see there's a drop off right out there. So I'm closing this one out. We're gonna call it a wrap. If, if you enjoyed the video, please click on that thumbs up. Blast me out across your social media. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you've not already done it, I'd really appreciate you clicking on that subscribe button right down there. And remember to hit that bell as well. That way you'll never miss another edition of the Dude RV Traveling Road Show. For those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. That's why I'm here. That's why I get to see all of the cool stuff that I get to see. It's because of your support. Thank you so much for that. And for my patrons, I'm so grateful for your generosity. It truly helps the mission. You guys rock. What a beautiful morning it is. I know I already said, I already said goodbye, I closed out, but you're seeing this before that because, oh, I guess I'm gonna have to climb over the fence. I wanted to come up here and look down. You gotta, once again, be careful because of the holes. Should have brought the 360. That looks pretty cool. All right, that's enough of that. We're going to the mountains. Y'all come back now, you hear?